Thank you for the invitation to speak at this esteemed event. Time spent pondering our existence to reach new understandings does not count against one's lifetime. This presentation from our What a Wonderful World series is Crystal Balls, How the Human Body Predicts the Future. To begin, the world was once a large landmass. We call that Pangaea. Over time, it divided into several landmasses that supported a variety of different life forms. We call these landmasses today continents. Each continent can be divided up into various geographic regions which are hosts to a diversity of life, which we classify under the following taxonomy. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. To this might I add subspecies. There are five major categories of subspecies amongst Homo sapiens. These are the Caucasoid, the Mongoloid, Negroid, Astraloid, and the disappearing pygmies of Africa. By understanding these categories, we can understand one another better, deduce some of our more worrisome sociological problems, and develop a blueprint for realistic solutions. Allow me to demonstrate how this applies to our society today. The American Negroid, well known for their mass appeal in popular entertainment, sports, and the occasional faces of abject costs. Now if we take a look at the average Negroid brain and compare it to the average of the Caucasoid, we find that the Negroid brain weighs approximately 100 grams less than that of the Caucasoid. Reason dictates that we may deduce that this smaller Negroid brain will be challenged to compete in the subjects of philosophy, mathematics, science, and technology, or the management of a family, business, or society. Compare, if you will, to the Mongoloid brain, where we encounter a vast area, an ocean, if you will, of this self-same cortical matter. The Mongoloid people, located primarily in Southeast and Central Asia, their impressive cortical development can be attributed to the mongoloid race leave, having crossed the sapien threshold first and thereby evolved the furthest. The mongoloid race excels at classical music, martial arts, advanced mathematics, invention, population control, and cleanliness, in part for this very reason. The whole human body can act as a roadmap to understanding the capacity of each individual. The size of one's head, distance between one's eyes and one's lips, a person's gait, and their ability to lift heavy objects are all signs we can decode through the scientific method. Turn now to the person next to you. Observe the shape of their eyes, or touch the bumps on their head. What meanings can we apply to these differences? This is important information when one considers, for example, breeding, or setting policy for a nation. Complete control over natural selection is not yet possible, but we can make reasonable, informed decisions and improve the overall genetic pool in turn to improve our society. Some may falsely accuse this of being a racist attitude and mislead you into thinking that it sets a dangerous precedent, but I assure you that science does not lie. Knowing your body and that of your neighbor will one day help us chart a course beyond our conceivable limits of the human potential. One day we may in fact master ourselves and our world. Join us next week on What a Wonderful World as we examine the pygmies of Africa and answer the question, Does Size Matter? What are you talking about? What is race?